Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just a quick update again on the prophecies I've made before. Uh, if you haven't watched my uh, recent uh, prophetic videos, uh, please go ahead and watch them because they are totally relevant to what's happening around the world today. Now, if you've been watching any news from any uh, site or any channel, then you should know what uh, is happening and what I said about any of the things I've said were true. You can see again uh, in this video I'm trying to talk in riddles please uh, decode them because all my videos have been restricted so far and uh, I really personally don't really care because enough is enough you know we have to say what we have to say and we have to do what we have to do what the Lord commands us not what the evil rulers tell us uh, so you can see what is dominating this is MSN uh, the dominant news around and uh, you can see this one this is not just one page if I scroll through uh, different pages you'll see again and again different things just ridiculous just like irrelevant um, she's not even there she's gone months ago but they want that really desperate they want to make money mainstream media particularly BBC in this country are desperate and uh, they know people are unsubscribing they're not watching them they're boycotting them that was part of my uh, plea for people to to do and and so they are uh, stretching this thin because they don't want to just make one spike of you know traffic going to their sites and their you know channels watching these things for one time or one week even or even one month they want to stretch it for a few months before they announce the as they call it dark day and uh, again here for instance they've dug up some news from like God knows how many decades ago and they talk about that uh, because they, they're really running out of subjects to talk about the uh, virus that was dominant previously is phasing out gradually as I said in my other previous videos but I tell you right now and uh, there will be another uh, another one coming another one of those or similar one of those coming we are in a war and it is a spiritual one and this also uh, is part of what I had prophesied uh, in my you know video in 2020 uh, September was behind you know this virus and uh, it was a, a series of three videos which is on our website and our ministry channel jesusministries.co.uk you can go and watch them if you haven't and if you have I repeated that also uh, recently in another shorter video uh, about what is going to come so this is all happening around the world. All the things that I said is happening about these also. The, somebody said, somebody called them green people or gray people. Uh, these also, uh, I prophesied about them uh, a, a few months ago. And that is surfacing on the news gradually as the other dominant news is phasing out. This one is also dominant. This and this these two are now becoming more and more dominant and also the this so these three are more dominant now in the headlines these are just irrelevant things they don't know what to talk about so this is just like nonsense and again uh, similar things uh, what I say is that they want to rid the whole world of uh, all monarchies because the, the agenda is one world 
re leader really so they would not want conflicts however uh, I don't know what's behind the scenes who is winning whether it's the right or left but what's happening is um, that what I said in my prophecies are actually being fulfilled and it hasn't taken that many years or in some cases even months and I said that even when I said it when I prophesied them I said it won't be long uh, and part of again another prophecy they're attacking our faith in every way possible every day there is some sort of a news about uh, you know how silly it is to be Christian how silly it is to believe even when they're talking about a plane that was flown 200 miles away by this uh, storm recently in the UK they say people screamed quoted praying like the way they titled it it was like they were ridiculing people praying against the wind or to be safe they're, they're ridiculing us in any any way possible so just be aware and be steadfast in your faith and your belief whatever wherever you are stand on the word of god and do what the lord commands and this one also uh, i talked about it in more depth and extent uh, which is again rolled out as part of their uh, green you know what i'm talking about and the summit they had in glasgow and i said then i asked people to pray and pray against it and, and i also said these things will happen this is part of the the other agenda they have uh, battery operated cars i talked about them i said that they want to basically make roads hostile and the codes the highway codes hostile to road users and drivers and, and, and so they'll just pack it all in just say forget it you know, we just get on public transport which is which is not great either and uh, ultimately they have other uh, uh, plans um, and as you see they're basically spelling it out that they want to end the rules and um, when you read one of these articles they actually actually say they want to end government's intervention government listen to this government's intervention in people's lives so they admit that they were intervening into our lives and and they call it living with this plan what kind of plan is that well, I mean just say going back to normal they want to they don't want to say that see they don't want to say normal normal doesn't exist anymore as far as these people are concerned so anyway just a quick update for you to say that these things are happening if I'm quiet I'm not saying much I don't want to post you know videos every day about things that are happening tomorrow might be more exposure more of their evil uh, plans and deeds be exposed but I don't want to sit here and be a news channel news update channel because I actually hate that kind of thing so what I want to do is just to say in this short video that things are happening and the prophecies that I made are being fulfilled uh, I don't need to go around prove myself to you and uh, some people need that you know somebody somebody put a comment on the one of my videos uh, <laughs> what are your credentials you know I don't have to have credentials to speak the Word of God and uh, say and do what I am commanded by the Lord the woman at the well didn't have any credentials however I do have credentials but I don't rely on that and I don't want to even mention them 
I want to just say what I am, who I am. I am a child of God and that's all you need to know. You don't have to have masters in theology to prove that you have credentials. The credentials, my credentials, comes from the Holy Spirit. Now, if that's not enough for you, then uh, I'm not here to argue with you and I'm not here to prove anything to you. I am me. If you don't like me, unsubscribe, go ahead. There are lots of lots of channels with lots of credentials and they flash around their masters from theological universities. And I, I, I don't need to do that and I don't want that because um, I don't want to be told what to believe. I believe what the Lord tells me, what the Bible teaches me. Jesus says the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. So as far as theology, no, I don't follow any doctrinal theology. I am a non-denominational Christian. I follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now, what degrees or credentials I have is totally irrelevant. Whether I have them or not even is totally irrelevant. I am a child of God. I come from the dust of the earth and I follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. So that is your answer to everything that you want to know. To those who are curious about my credentials, don't think about my credentials. Think about what I say and take to heart, ponder on them. If you're really concerned, then pray over them. Ask the Holy Spirit, ask God to, to open your eyes and tell you what the truth is. So that you go ahead, you know, you can unsubscribe because you're not the only one unsubscribing. We've got tons of people unsubscribing uh, because of what we say. And the, the uh, YT is actually restricting me. So I, I don't really care. I, I say what I need to say. And to those of you who uh, like my messages, Thank you for your support. God bless you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.